Yo, welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And as you can tell, well, I'm not in the usual studio today. I'm actually traveling out in Hong Kong. But as you know, that does not stop the show. So let's get this thing started. Kicking things off this week is Adidas with some love for both the men and the women with the EQT support line. First up, the women get three pairs of the EQT Racing ADV. These look super clean and those will cost you $130. If you wanna up your game just a little bit, there's actually going to be a prime knit version of that shoe available over at Finish Line and those will cost the women $140. Switching over to the men, they are also getting a prime knit version of the shoe dropping over at Finish Line and those will cost you $140 as well. If you are a fan of Boost, the Adidas EQT Boost Support 9317 is also dropping today. These, as the name states, have a boost in the midsole, and those are gonna cost you $180. Jumping over to Nike basketball, we have a new and improved version of the Nike Kobe AD, and this one's going to drop in five different colorways. Nike actually announced these shoes earlier last week, and they are an upgraded version of the AD, and those are gonna cost you $150. Going back to the three stripes, Adidas has the EQT Support RF for $110, and if you wanna upgrade that, look you can get the EQT support RF in the prime knit version of the shoe and those are going to cost you $160. The next pair on the list well they were actually supposed to release a little while ago but Nike pushed them back it's the Nike fly knit trainer in the Oreo colorway better known as black and white as you can see these are super clean super simple and pretty much something that you can wear pretty much any time those are going to cost you $150. Jumping ahead to the 25th, Reebok continues to push out the Club C in different looks, and this one, or two I should say, features the metallic finish for the women. Those are gonna cost you $85, and you can grab those over at Finish Line. Also coming from Reebok Classics is the leather in metallic, and those will cost you $85. If you always wanted to see or feel what the future feels like when it comes to sneakers, well, the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0 is re-releasing, or releasing a new colorway, I should say, and that new colorway is Red Lagoon. These first popped up online a few weeks ago, and now they're officially going to roll out for those that want their shoes to lace or tighten themselves. Those will cost you the usual $720. This year, Nike is also celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Air Force One. They've already kind of been celebrating with the different colorways of the Air Force One in the SF version of the shoe. Well, that shoe is now dropping in the Urban Utility colorway. Basically, it's like a dark or a chocolate brown and they look really sweet actually. If you do want to grab a pair of these, they do release tomorrow and they're going to cost you $180. All right, talking about Saturday, we have a release that I don't think many of us, myself included, even expected to come from Jordan brand. The shoe I'm talking about is the grade school version of the Air Jordan 13 in the wolf gray colorway. We all know the Air Jordan 13 has been getting some love this year, and this fits right along in that line. Those will cost the grade school folks $140. Keeping with Jordan brand, we also see the cool gray colorway of the Air Jordan 8. Now, the Air Jordan 8 is easily one of the most distinct looking models in the Air Jordan signature line, especially in those early years. And this new material on the upper actually looks really nice as well with that cool gray mix. Uh, you can grab those for the usual $190. And for a bit of a surprise this week, these were actually announced earlier this week, it is the Nike LeBron Air Zoom Generation. Now, many of you saw that Nike re-released one colorway of the shoe, the white and red version earlier this year, but now they're re-releasing the white and black colorway. Um, not known to many is that the white and black colorway of the shoe is actually the first colorway of the Air Zoom Generation that LeBron wore on court. The white and red got more of the celebration, but the white and black was the actual first color he wore on the court these are expected to release on saturday they are going to be pretty limited so if you do want a pair you're going to have to stay on it and those are going to cost you 175 dollars all right as with every week i'm sure there are a couple things that i missed but i definitely wanted to give you the highlights of the stuff that i thought you would be checking for as always i am jock slade this is the heat check presented by finish line and as always guys i appreciate you i'll see you soon peace